Let's do it! What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying with the goddamn hair y'all leave. So I understand that y'all may be tired of the subject because, girl, I am too. But every day I wake up, it's like Chris and Clarence, Chris and Clarence, Clarence and Chris, Chris and Clarence, Armand and Reginae, Clarence and Chris, Chris and Clarence. So I'm just going to keep talking about it until we all are sick of talking about it. So if you don't want to watch this video, that is absolutely fine. For those that do, listen, hear me out. So five, six years ago, right, when Chris cheated on Queen or whatever, uh, it was the worst situation in the world for a lot of people. I feel like six years ago is when the world started to change in general. So just follow me, right? Now, with Chris, I want to tell y'all distinctly the, the obvious difference. He threw it in her face. Clarence didn't. Clarence ain't got no proof. Chris got a whole bunch of proof. If you can't get that in your mind, I don't know what to tell you. Everybody ain't sucking Clarence and everybody don't just love Clarence. I just love Clarence. I don't have Clarence number. I can't pull up to his house. I don't get invited to cookouts. Y'all be on his dick more than I do. One thing I'm gonna do though is talk about what's actually going on. You get what I'm saying? So say what you want, call me what you want. But you gonna hear me first. <clears throat> Here's my thing, right? It is two, literally two distinct different situations. But I wanna do this. I wanna retract some of the things that I said uh, when it comes to Chris years ago, because the same way, uh, it, not just Clarence, this ain't even about Clarence and Chris, all these rich niggas who go to these parties and, and, and got all this shit going on. It is a group of women that's ready to get paid and ready to put something in their mouth. Okay. As nasty as it sounds, it's the truth. Y'all it's the truth. And what I want to say is, Chris was in a situation years ago where he was dealing with the same shit. But instead of Chris saying it like that, because he can't, <laughs> he can't articulate it the right way. I wish um, he didn't throw it in her face as much because y'all will be able to see the difference. But unfortunately, Chris, he always make his own bed. So he got to lay in that motherfucker. All right. With Clarence, it's not tossed in her face. If it is true, I don't even know if it's true. But I'm just going to say, hypothetically speaking, if it is true, it's not tossed in her face. It ain't no proof. She not out here embarrassed on the net because it ain't no proof. If in the event it is true. Now, for Chris to be at parties back in the days or whatever the fuck, Chris was one of them niggas who actually helped change the YouTube community. I want to give him his flowers. Because he is. And years ago, it was not seen like that. It wasn't. Um, he don't make it no better, but I'm going to speak up for his ass. It wasn't seen like that. So years ago when Chris was in the club and all these girls was on his dick, honestly, it's the same shit with Clarence. If in the event, this is true. And that is the difference. Chris was probably getting his meat grabbed on. Okay. Y'all, I have got my shit grabbed on. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even got a dick. <laughs> so I just want to make that very clear. When these girls want you, they want you. You know what I'm saying? I haven't done that while I was in a relationship or it hasn't happened while I was in a relationship. But when I wasn't, I'm telling you that women, if, when you in a, when you in a place where nobody has rules, nobody has rules. Anything can go and anything is going to go on the water in Miami. Okay. Chris at the club in LA, anything went hello. So I really wish Chris didn't just throw this shit in her face. And I'm just going to say in Chris defense, all them people coming at him around that time, he probably didn't know what the fuck to say. He didn't know what the fuck to do. I'm not going to lie. Clarence has been set up and trained to not be like Chris. Let's talk about it. Haven't we all though? Like, boy, you ain't about to Chris me, boy. Y'all ain't about to Chris me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't about to be like Chris. Everybody says that. And it's terrible because he was the example. But instead of Chris uh, 
flourishing in that instead of him looking at it in a positive way he just stays in the negative so bad bro and that's the bad part about it but anyway i'm gonna tell y'all right now the same shit clarence could potentially have gone through on that boat is actually the same shit that chris went through in that club and if ain't nobody else gonna say it i'm gonna say it but y'all still gonna say i'm biased i'll take it because y'all don't have no fucking common sense but unfortunately we are in a different in a different time and i wish chris would be in a different time he is not in a different time with us he chris is back there six years ago still talking about make a medicine part two that ain't even life right now dog <laughs> it's not unless let's talk about it that's that last song could have been about clarence had that been true you know what i'm saying but we wouldn't know this ain't that time anymore. She did that song because of how he embarrassed her and she had to get her revenge better than me. I would have fucked his brother. Okay. If I was queen, why would have did some trifling shit? <laughs> you going to embarrass me. All right. Let me embarrass you. You know what I'm saying? But hell she did. She put his name in the song. She got a new nigga, put, put him in the video, got her new nigga rich. <laughs> Let's talk about it. And got a baby by him. all the embarrassment that Chris could have got. She already gave it to him. And I guarantee if Clarence were to disrespect her the way Chris did, it would be a medicine part two. But that ain't the case. She's not being disrespected. OK, we don't know what the conversation was. We don't know none of that shit. And we still don't know if it's true. Because shout out to Clarence not being so sloppy and having proof out this bitch. So. I want to say this one more time, though. Uh, Chris was presented with the same shit six years ago. He was the first one to deal with it, I feel like. And he ain't know what to do. So, But the reason why I, we're reacting to this part of the video, because it's really shit like this going on. And y'all got to understand, like, I feel I feel for Chris now. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I feel for Chris now. How much land is that? Yeah, I got, I, I got the showgirls going to be walking with the uh, thing. <laughs> I got three mermaids that lay there with their mermaid suits on. Period. <laughs> we got to come to one of the topless parties. Bro. No, I'm married now, man, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Now, that nigga said, you know, I'm married now, so I ain't coming. Let me tell y'all something. You know, when you go to a party like that, it's a possibility that you going to get your meat wet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody said, why can't you just go to a party like that and chill? Yeah, right. <laughs> like get the fuck out of here i know better than to not go to one if i don't have a pass per se because i know i'm gonna be in some shit my woman know the same thing because she gonna be in some shit too and if y'all was presented the opportunity y'all will be in some shit as well Hey, well, you can't come. You know, yeah. That's, <laughs> you can't, you that's, can't why D, that's why DC hosts. You're your first hosts. time too. You can't come because I'm gonna get your dicks up. Hello, what did he say? That's why, you can't, you that's, can't why D, that's why DC hosts. You're your first hosts. time too. You can't come because I'm gonna get your dicks up. Look at their face. I'm Look at his face. Let's stop acting like temptation is not real, y'all. Stop. Unfortunately, we couldn't articulate this for Chris six years ago. We couldn't. I'm gonna be completely honest. We could not. But I wish he would stop making it worse. God damn. I see, I see why Chris was in the situation he was in six years ago. I really do. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Until you can't yeah, come. I, I, can't, I can't come, bro. You can't come. I'm, can't I'm come. telling you now. Well, BT's they, can BT's it. Go. Okay, you know. well, I, I like to show my people a good time. It's <laughs> out of control. I'll come to I'm the other I'm telling you right one. now, if you're I'll a married man, party. you do not need to be there. Yeah, I love Tanisha. I'm telling you. You love your girl. Do not disrespect her. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you. The camera's. Do not, I, the camera will be on you. Hello? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm not hiding. Get the fuck on. Hello? It's so my point is, it's really shit like that going on. You know what I'm saying? It was shit like that going on six years ago, but now everybody just way more open with it. You know, and you right, Shondon. He didn't only cheat once, girl. He kept cheating and kept disrespecting. I know. I try my best to water down Chris because I feel like he inside is a good dude. Sebastian just like to show his ass. But um, Chris was presented with this type of shit six years ago, and unfortunately, he couldn't articulate it for himself. I, I, I feel bad that he couldn't articulate it for himself then, and I also feel bad that he can't articulate it now.
he just want Clarence to get in trouble. Like, he look like a nigga at the daycare right now. Look, look, Miss Portia, Miss Portia. <laughs> He's eating the chips that I had six years ago. Shouldn't he get in trouble? You thought Queen was going to be on your side with that? <sighs> she already been embarrassed online. She's not about to be embarrassed again. I promise you that. We all have been trained for this, have we not? I know damn well when I'm outside. I, uh, I ain't about to be Chris Sale. So let me make sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's sad. But instead of him monetizing that, he makes it the worst shit in the world. So anyway, we about to end this video, man. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, and that's all I got. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Goodbye. <laughs>